So if you've watched my video on my experience moving with my cats, Wessie and Forrest, you'll know that I found the prospect of traveling just a few hours with my cats to be a bit daunting. But that experience combined with consultation with one of the vets on the cats.com team, as well as a bit of research, have given me a few tips to help you make traveling with a cat a success. Also, I'm doing a new thing where each week I'll be answering a question from one of you commenters. So stay tuned until the end of the video to get the answer to Natasha question about her cat licking her eyelids. So my first tip for successful travel with a cat is to pick a great carrier. Uh, a good carrier is going to be your cat's home away from home and it's also going to keep them safe during the trip so it's important to get a good one. And this brings me to the sponsor of this week's video which is Tuft & Paw. Tuft & Paw recently released the Porto Carrier which is a nice full-sized soft-sided carrier that offers great flexibility in terms of how you open it, how you put your cat in, and storage options as well. It works really well as a comfortable bed, so it's easy to acclimate your cat before the trip. So if you'd like to learn more about the Porto Carrier, you can check out the link in the description and uh, in the pinned comment. So once you've chosen your carrier, you're going to want to introduce it to your cat gradually. Um, if you can, bring it into the home as soon as possible and just let your cat hang out in it as a bed. This brings me to my next point, which is the importance of preparation. So you're going to want to start preparation early, ideally in kittenhood. If you anticipate that your cat may be a travel companion at some point, start training them in kittenhood to feel comfortable with the variety of travel. Most cats will feel most comfortable on their home turf, but cats can certainly be trained to deal better with um, changing environments and variability in their lives. But even if you haven't started from kittenhood, preparation is really important. So in the weeks or months leading up to the trip, take steps to kind of acclimate your cat to the things that they'll face during that trip. So of course, uh, get them used to going into the carrier, lure them in there with treats, make it a comfortable place for your cat. And if you can, get them used to being in the car. You're going to want to take them within that carrier into the car, give them some treats, give them a little bit of time in there and increase incremental the amount of time that your cat spends in the vehicle. You're also going to want to get them acquainted with all of the other supplies that will be pulled out on travel day. So that includes their harness, their leash, uh, their travel litter box if you're bringing a special one. Anything that you'll be bringing during that trip should be familiar to your cat long before you leave the house. My next tip is to plan according to your mode of transportation. So you will most likely either be flying or driving and the considerations for each of these are different from one to the other. So make sure that you're using an appropriate carrier, something that is able to be strapped into the car seat and ideally use a crash tested carrier. Make sure that the carrier is placed in the vehicle correctly. You can kind of prop it up a little bit to make sure it's on a level surface, make sure that it's strapped in correctly. You're also going to want to think about the temperature. So instead of chucking your cat into a hot or cold car, try warming it up or cooling it down before your cat enters so that they have a nice comfortable space uh, as soon as they get in. Many cats will experience motion sickness when they're on the road, so it can be a good idea to fast your cat for eight to 12 hours before you leave. Some cats may benefit from motion sickness medication, so if you're worried about this, you can consult your vet for more advice. But what about travel by plane? So this can get a little bit more complicated. You're going to want to check out your airline's recommendations and make sure that your carrier is appropriate for use on that airline. I would not recommend traveling with your cat in the cargo hold. This can be quite risky and the vast majority of airlines and routes will allow you to take that cat as a carry on under the seat in front of you. So double check and confirm that everything works, um, but I would recommend having them in the cabin. Most soft sided carriers should work pretty well for air travel, but just confirm the Porto carrier from Tuft & Paw that I mentioned earlier should work with most airlines, but you're just going to want to double check. While you're checking in with the airline, also consider any paperwork that they require for cats boarding their planes and make sure that you have everything in order. 
Airport security can be pretty nerve wracking for cats. So you want to prepare for this accordingly. And remember that they're going to want your cat to come out of the carrier as they go through the x-ray machine. So you're going to want to make sure that your cat is securely held in a harness and ready to come out when that time comes. Next up, you want to make sure that you're packing everything that your cat needs on the road. So kind of create a cat packing list. In addition to the carrier and the harness and the leash that I mentioned, you're going to want to pack maybe some pee pads in case there are accidents on the road or in the carrier, contact information for your cat's vet, vaccination certificates, recent lab work and medications that your cat might need, including a prescription from the vet. Calming pheromone products can also help. So a product like Fellaway as uh, synthetic pheromones that help to signal to your cat that they're at home, that they can calm down. Lastly, be patient. So I, I've talked about this before that your stress can be kind of transferred to your cat. And so you want to make sure that you're de-stressing as much as possible. Travel can be really overwhelming and stressful. Uh, so managing your own stress will help your cat to have a more pleasant experience and helps you have a more pleasant experience as well. So. Expect some unpredictability, prepare yourself for having to kind of roll with the punches with your cat, and uh, you should feel a lot better as long as you're prepared for what's to come. So that's about it for my tips on traveling with your cat, but before I sign off, uh, I want to share this week's viewer question, which comes from someone named Natasha. Natasha says, my kitten licks my eyelashes. I think she thinks they're spiders or something. Thank God uh, I don't wear eyelashes. So um, what's going on here? Why do some cats like licking eyelashes? Do they think they're spiders? Does it taste good? I've had the same experience with cats kind of licking the eyelashes. And my best guess is that the cat is doing this in a situation where they know that the eyelids are kind of a sensitive area and licking them is going to make you spring into action. So Natasha, does your kitten do this when you're lying down with your eyes closed, you're kind of, closed off to the world and maybe the kitten's trying to get your attention, trying to wake you up maybe. That would be my first guess. I've also read about some cats who like the taste of makeup. So if you wear mascara or some other makeup on your eyes, is it possible that your kitten is getting a taste of it? And then lastly, maybe there are some uh, oils or some sort of residue, maybe some sand in your eyes and your cat is for some reason curious about the taste of it. Those are my best guesses. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas for Natasha. Um, and if you would like to have your question featured in the next cats.com video, go ahead and drop it. I'll be looking through and picking one to share uh, in the next one. Regardless, thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.